on Fake, fake News CNN. CNN. I think, I think NBC, NBC may be more, more distorted, distorted and worse, but... No, but on CNN, they have a headline. Judge in Manafort case says Mueller's aim is to hurt Trump. You believe that? This is what we're up. It's called the witch hunt. Let me tell you, folks, we're all fighting battles, but I love fighting these battles. It's really a disgrace. You know, President Trump pointing out a list of mistakes the media has been making with Russian collusion and other things. Uh, yesterday, remember, NBC incorrectly reported that Michael Cohen had been wiretapped and said it the focus uh, of, uh, of a different sort of a, a look from the FBI. While President Trump says he likes fighting those attacks, uh, he, and he does very well with them, the media seems to have taken notice because they've shifted. Uh, yesterday, CNN's April Ryan, who says now that Sarah Sanders implied she wanted to physically fight her. Take a listen. You said yourself you were blindsided. I actually didn't said. use that term. Well, I said it, but you were blindsided <laughs> from what you said. Well, for uh, with all due respect, you actually don't know much about me in terms of what I feel and what I don't. Those are fighting words. Joining me now to discuss Kelly Jane Torrance, deputy managing editor at the Weekly Standard, Gina Loudon, political analyst and advisory board member of Donald J. Trump for president, and Katie Freights, Olympic media managing editor. Katie, let me start with you. I was shocked. Uh, you know, April Ryan went on CNN last night with Don Lemon. She said that that response was uh, was was gutter. It was it was ghetto. It was uh, it was it was fighting words where she's from, and she felt like that was a physical threat. That is the most absurd thing I have heard in a while, Charles. I mean, Sarah Huckabee Sanders was not incorrect in saying, April Ryan, you do not know a lot about me, so do not presume to know how I think. And for her to try to turn that around and say, she wants to fight me in the alley, this is, it's, this is Joe Biden and the president all over again. And honestly, it's kind of ridiculous for them to look at the president and attack him for potential things that he may or may not say that are nice or mean and then turn around and say well he did something mean so we're going to do something mean too and it's completely justified yeah. and it's just i mean it's it is it's 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 just silly you know gina uh, i think the cnn political director said that yesterday uh, uh sarah sanders lost all of her credibility uh, but I got to tell you, I, I see her as heroic. I mean, she stands up there and she answers the same questions over and over again, and they just won't accept her answer. And, uh, you know, yeah. they, they belittle her. They, they, and, of course, let's not forget what happened at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. She has been a noble figure in my mind. Yeah, I think you tweeted about this and uh, made some uh, comment that it was like watching a good, solid martial artist to black belt <laughs> level, you know, and, that, and that's really what we're seeing here. I mean, she has been, she has taken it and she has brought it. And I think that people aren't used to conservatives fighting back like that, but she's raised in a political family. She knows the ropes. She knows exactly what she's doing and she knows how to make her words count. And I think that she has exercised that beautifully and all of America's watching this, Charles, and I think they I see people like April Ryan, and uh, it's what they've come to expect from the left and their sort of desperation. And, and meanwhile, Kelly Jane, uh, the hits keep coming. This uh, this false wiretap news, the CNN false re report on uh, Trump's son colluding with WikiLeaks, that ABC report that Trump told Flynn uh, to meet with the Russians during the campaign. We had a Bloomberg report about uh, Mueller being issued a subpoena targeting Trump allies. And here's the thing. I mean, a couple of these reports sent the market down. You know, they, they have there's, there are ramifications for this sort of bad reporting. Yeah, you're right, Charles. And I'm not sure people are thinking about that now. In the journalism business, there's something we call too good to check, a story that's too good to check. And what it means is you want that story to be good. So you don't really want to go and look for the information that could totally make that story a non-story. And I do think in some cases that's what's happening here. You do have journalists who want a huge scoop. And I think some of them do want to but have come, that Kelly, scoop that'll how, bring back the president. How come these aren't ever good scoops? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're all the kind of scoops that exactly, are going to derail a presidency. Exactly. You know, that's what I don't get. You know, there's never a great scoop out there 
here, hey, you know what I heard? The unemployment number is going to be 3.9 percent. There's never that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, notice a lot of it, too, is, is very self-referential. It's the media loves to talk about itself. And, you know, people like April Ryan, with all respect, her audience is not the American people. Her audience is other reporters. And, yeah. you know, I have to say, I wrote, a, you know, I wrote a piece on this. There was a State Department briefing talking about human rights violations around the world. We have journalists around the world who are murdered, imprisoned for what they do. And you had people from Associated Press and CNN asking, well, how can, uh, how can you talk about this? Are you hypocrites? Because the president calls us fake news. Right. And, you know, well, the, the guy from the State Department said, you know, my, my, my friends in Cuba, they would, my journalist friends in Cuba would love it if all they had to face was name calling. Yeah. But it's much worse. And I think the media here don't realize they need to have a little perspective, all you right. know, to get, we, get a little perspective on this stuff. Ladies, thank you all very much. Have a great weekend.